to the universe. Here for part two of my haul. A few days ago, I posted my makeup haul and I split it up because I said it was too much stuff, which yes, truly is too much stuff. So today I'm going to be sharing the things that I got in Korea. Skincare, the, the skincare items I got in Korea. Some of these are gifts from my family members, like my cousin's wife, she gave me some stuff. Then I got some actual gifts from a company and then I bought some stuff. Okay, so I'll make sure to let you guys know what's what just to differentiate it. But here we go, make sure to be a subscriber today. All right, boom. wow, I'm going real quick today. So the first thing that I'm gonna talk about, I actually got as a gift from a company, company, company called Number Chin. Number Chin, okay? Number Chin. And they're actually the parent company of Fui, which I talked about in my makeup video. Anyways, they also have a skincare company and this is actually really popular right now in Korea. I didn't know, but I did a little bit of research and Sue Beauty talks about them quite often. But they actually gave me three different toners. The number Dean system is all about numbers, okay? So they have, I don't wanna say 10, maybe like nine toners, nine serums. They have numbers. And basically what their company is about is like a, having something to for every skin concern. So this is a makeup boosting toner. This is a dewy radiance essence. So it's like an essence toner. And then this is the goodbye dead cell toner. So this has PHA, while I think one of these has hyaluronic acid. I'm not too sure it's all in Korean. But anyways, I have tried these toners and I like all of them actually. And I there's different consistencies to all of them. If you can see, this one is actually a little bit thicker and so is this one, but this one is quite thin. This one I actually like, I think the most, just cause I like HA, BHA, and PHAs are kind of the, the alpha of those. So I've been using these, but not too much because obviously I have a lot of essence and toners, but I have been able to try them out. But anyways, I received those. And then I also, this is, I bought this. This is the Laneige Cream Skin Refiner. Well, I know this is really popular in both America and Korea. Korea. I've heard quite a few people talk about it. I'm pretty sure Leah Yu said this was like the most innovative, innovative, innovative product that she wished she had created. I remember her saying something like that. And my friend, she really likes it. I think we got it for her as a birthday gift once and then she's repurchased it. But pretty much it's supposed to be like a toner and a moisturizer in one. I don't really know how it works, but I have given it a try. And the thing is, it's like not thick. It's very watery, but it's very lotion-y too. I don't know, it's a strange sensation. The reason I love Korea so much is because they give so many samples. So I bought this and I got this for so, so cheap. In America, I wanna say it's close to $30, but in Korea, it was like on sale. So I got it for like Imanon, which is $20. And it came with two free samples, so it's like travel size bottles of these, so I can take these when I'm traveling. How great is that? And then my cousin actually got me these carrot carotene calming water pads. I'm not exactly sure, but she told me they're very hot in Korea. So she was like, oh, all my friends use them. And I was like, well, get me on them, sister. I think they are like moisturizing pads, so maybe like toning pads. I haven't actually used it yet, but this is apparently very, very popular and this is from skin food. So I'm pretty sure it's pretty available here in America. And then, you know what I should have done? I should have done cleansing oil first. Okay, blah, blah, blah. so I just showed you the toners. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna show you some cleansing oils that I got. I didn't get any foam cleansers cause I have my Crave one and I have my Youth to the People one, which I really like. And you know, I already got this. You know I already got backups of this. This is my absolute favorite cleansing oil. But I decided to give some other ones a try. This is all about exploration. So, this is a brand called Yuri Pibu. Yuri Pibu, which literally means glass skin. Yuri is glass, Pibu is skin. And this is their Grante cleansing oil, natural purifying cleansing oil. And I've been using this ever since I got back. It's actually pretty good. I'd actually recommend it. It gets rid of all my mascara. It doesn't feel clogging or anything. It's a very nice oil. When I squirt it out, it looks like there's like algae in it, but it doesn't feel like nasty or you can't feel the algae, but oh, I wish I could show you. I don't know, there's like these green things floating in it, but it makes it feel more luxurious. I'm pretty sure it's on purpose. It's a good cleansing oil. I think I actually would repurchase it if they sold it here, but they don't. This also came with two 
travel size. I actually use this one in Korea. Two travel size of these. And then I actually got this other cleansing oil and I gave it to, I ended up giving it to my friend. It's from Brown Lab, which is a pretty popular brand in Korea right now. And this is the smaller version, but I honestly did not, like it wasn't bad, it was okay. It didn't really take off my mascara, which is like the real standing test, you know? But it took off everything else. So if you don't wear that much mascara or if you don't wear waterproof mascara, this may be good, but it was all right for me. Okay, so cleansing oils, toners, and then I will go into serums. So I purchased one serum and that is from Abib. This is another, uh, it's not super new, but this is a new or a brand to me. This is the Heart Leaf Essence Calming, Calming Pump Essence. And it looks honestly very similar to the Innisfree Green Tea Serum. I like this a lot though. It's very, it is calming, it's hydrating. It doesn't have a scent. And a lot of things in Korea are heavily scented. You know, I don't really mind fragrance that much, but this is nice and very clean. I can't tell you how much, you know, it's doing for me because again, this is a haul. I keep on forgetting. I keep on wanting, wanting to give a review on everything, but I don't need to. It's a haul. So anyways, I got this. So far, I have been enjoying it. And then back to number zine. They also gifted me these two serums. Deep Sleep Mask, number six, and number three, Bodel Bodel, oh, it's Bodel Bodel Repair, but in English, it's Bodel Bodel Repair. And apparently number three is actually one of their most popular serums. I think this is more of a hydrating glass skin providing type of serum. And this is a, a ultra moisturizing hydrating serum. I actually got to meet the people that work at this company. Very, very cool. I'll talk about it later. But she said that this was her favorite one. So they actually gave me one of these as well. And I've been really, really enjoying it. I mean, but I can't tell if it's transforming my skin. I don't know, but I do enjoy these as well. So that's my serums. And then, oh, I got these two P plus DNA. This is from my uncle. He's just, um, I think he works at like a marketing business firm. I don't know, but he gave me this. This is an intensive DNA serum and this is an intensive DNA cream. I have never heard of this brand, PDNA, but they gave these, these are pretty good though. I don't mind them. I haven't really formed a huge opinion on those. And then I got one moisturizer. This is a Kosarx Propolis Light Cream. This is very popular in America and Korea. I mean, Kosarx is really popular. I've seen this around many, many times, but I just was like, meh. But then I decided to get it and I have been actually using this quite a bit and I love it. Like Soonjung is also, you know, my number one favorite, but this is honestly, I could, I, I probably will repurchase this again. I really enjoy this. Then I have some masks. So this Abib mask, I actually wanted this because uh, I've seen somebody use it. I'm not a huge, fan of masks, but when in Korea, you have to get some, you know? This came together, actually. So I got this, I haven't tried it yet. It's a hyaluronic mild acidic pH sheet mask. I think it has these very hydrating sheet masks. And then my cousin gave me two of these Dr. Jart rubber masks. I know they're really popular. I just personally have never used them because they're pretty expensive. One is like $7, I'm pretty sure it's for up. And then number Zane again gave me these sheet masks. And this is number three, which is actually, this is loaded with the Bodel Bodel Repair Serum. So they come in this pack and I think there's, how many was there, four or six? But apparently they use like three bottles in these packs. So it's like, it's like a loaded, loaded pack of the serum. I mean, just lay it down and then it should be Bodel Bodel on your face. And then I got, and then they also gave me this number four SOS emergency autumn chung pack, which is like emergency kind of like icy soothing pack. I haven't tried them either. Although recently it's been so, I've been so sweaty and hot even in North Carolina. So I will be doing a pack probably today. And then my cousin, I know my cousin is so nice. She's, she's my new cousin-in-law. Uh, she also gave me this black sugar essential scrub. And I used to use this like it was water. And then I realized physical exfoliation is not that good. This is a more, I think this this has been reformulated. So it, it is a lot softer. I still don't recommend using it often, but I do use this once in a while and I still like to have it. So I'm actually really glad she gave it to me because I had run out. Moving on to sun cream. So I know a lot of like sun cream in Korea right now is being questioned. I don't know if that's still the case, but I still went ahead and got some sunscreen anyways. Well, just two. So I had seen this in Shin Nim's video. She talked about Espoir. Dude, I'm, I never bought Espoir. Look at me, I'm an Espoir girl. Um, I bought the Espoir Water Splash Sun Cream and the Fresh Espoir Water Splash Sunscreen. 
So they're, they're different, but they're the same. When you apply it, they both feel nice creams. I love both of them. I've been using them. This one though, it ends with not do, they, they both are still pretty dewy, but this one ends with almost like a, a wateriness. While this is more like freshness. I honestly don't know the difference that much, but there is, I feel texturally a difference in the end of the application. The fragrance is a bit strong. I think it's not like no fragrance, but I like it. I also got this random hand cream and I think the smell was really good. I'm actually gonna open it now. This is from Vanilla Boutique. And I'm honestly not a huge hand cream person because my hands are already so sweaty, but I got one just in case. In the winter, it get, they can get a little dry. Cause I thought it smelled quite nice, like like a hug, like a hug. And then number Zin once again gave me a sunscreen. It's the Porcelain Base Skip Tone Up Beige. So they didn't call it a sunscreen, but it's SPF 50 plus PA plus plus plus. I did use this a couple of times. However, it has color to it. Let me show you. Like it's not much color, but it, there definitely is color to it. And it's not match my skin tone skin tone that much. I mean, I can wear it, but do you see? There's a bit of coverage. It doesn't exactly. I can get myself to wear it, but since it's, because I have so many other sun creams that I don't have to like get myself to wear it, I don't think I'll be reaching for this as often. And there's a minty smell to it, but I think in terms of the sunscreen itself, there's not a, if it does fit your skin tone because there is a slight shade to it. It doesn't seem like to have much, although it's kind of pilling a little. Yeah, it's not my favorite. I got a recommendation, so I've been looking for a good dry shampoo because I do not like to shower and wash my hair every day. I just don't, okay, I just don't. It's too much work and I have too much hair. So I've been looking for a good dry shampoo and I've gotten some good recommendations, but Francis Sunny, who gives me many recommendations, recommended Chlorine. Holy cow, so good. Chlorine dry shampoo. This is the cooling and no, no sebum. Truly no sebum. It has this aqua, it's in with aquatic mint. Love that minty smell. This is what I've been using almost every day. Not every day, but every two days. And then this is the dry shampoo with nettle oil control. I haven't used this one yet because I'm trying to use this one up first. Anyways, I probably will not be turning back because I think these are so good. Pretty affordable. I think there was bought in Tonon, which means it's around 11, less than $11. I got this random body and hair mist from Round Round A. Round, 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 round day, or I don't know what, round, round around, round around, round around. So it was like $10 and it was like right in front of me or like it was on my way to checking out and that always happens to me. But I actually, hmm, it's, it's just, I mean, it's just a nice fragrance. It's not like super expensive or anything. I got this because I thought the packaging was nice and sleek when I thought this was so pretty. And I got this so I can actually put it in my car to make my car smell nice. Hmm or like spray it around my room or my body and my hair. Number Zine also gave me this velvet cream. This is their number three moisturizer. They have a line of moisturizers as well. And number three is the velvet beauty cream. And this is supposed to be more for makeup application. So it's supposed to double as a moisturizer and a primer. I have given it one try, so I haven't really formed my opinion on it. It's supposed to have a pore blurring effect without that pore blurring silicone feeling. I would say it is definitely moisturizing and it leans more towards not feeling silicone-y. Velvet's not dewy, but it doesn't feel too silicone-y. But I've only used it once, so who really knows? And lastly, it's, these aren't, this is not, I didn't buy this. I just want to tell you guys how many samples Korea gives you. Like they give you full, these are huge. In one, just one purchase, you get, I got three of these from Prim Prim Primera and I just got so many samples, which is so good so that when I travel, I can use these things. I love the country of Korea. Uh, I think that's it. Wow, I whizzed through these, so sorry if I talk too fast. I am very busy this week, but I wanted to make sure I filmed this and get this out. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Hope your day is wonderful, as mine is sunny. And yeah, that's it. As always, be nice to your parents, wear a mask, and see you at my next video. Bye! Wow, usually I take this off, but I forgot to take it off.